Hello and welcome to this podcast on asset recruitment and scrapping allowances. Now, when you dispose of an asset that was subject to an allowance, there might be certain tax implications. And one of these is to recover some of the allowances that was granted to the taxpayer in the past, or we're going to go and grant additional allowances. And this is called scrapping allowances or recoupments. Now, before we go and look at scrapping allowances or recoupments, we first need to go look at the concept of what is a tax value. A tax value is calculated by taking the cost of the the asset and from that deducting any allowances granted on the asset. That will equal the tax value. We will reference to this amount quite often, so it's an important concept that you need to keep in mind. The first one we're going to look at is a scrapping allowance. A scrapping allowance happens when the proceeds from the disposal of an asset is less than the tax value of the asset on the date of disposal. In other words, the selling price is less than the tax value. And we just looked at tax value. Tax value equals the cost of the asset less any allowances on the asset. Now, a scrapping allowance is only applicable on certain depreciable assets, which is your movable assets with a useful life life of less than 10 years, manufacturing assets, which are written off under Section 12C, so it's the manufacturing asset allowance, and then lastly, small business corporation assets, which are written off under Section 12E. And it's very important to note that the scrapping allowance does not apply to any land and buildings. It's only applicable on depreciable movable assets. So let's go look at an example. The shoe company has a 31 March 2016 year end. They purchased a new manufacturing machine for 400,000 rand on the 1st of April. So in other words, if you go draw this on a timeline, the, f- the year in which the asset was purchased was the 2015 year of assessment. The machine was sold on 13 November, which is the 2016 year of assessment for 100,000 rand as a vital part had broken. So let's go do the calculation. The first thing that you're going to go and do is you're going to go and calculate the tax value because you want to compare the tax value to the selling price. To calculate the tax value, you start with the cost of the asset and from that we deduct all of the allowances that was granted on the asset. And because the asset was purchased in the 2015 year of assessment, you will get a 40% allowance because this is a new manufacturing machine in the 2015 year of assessment. In the 2016 year of assessment, you will get another 20% allowance and you sold it in this year. And remember, this allowance is not a portion and therefore you will still get the full allowance during this year, although you sold it. So the tax value equals to 160,000 Rand. Now we're going to go and compare it to the selling price. The selling price was 100,000 Rand. The selling price is less than the tax value and therefore you will have a scrapping allowance. And the scrapping is the difference between the tax value and the selling price. Now the scrapping allowance may be deducted against your taxable income along with all of the other allowances that you would have gotten. Now remember, in this year, you will get two allowances on this particular asset. You will get the 2016 year allowance as well as the scrapping allowance that we just calculated. Let's go look at recoupments. Recoupment happens when the proceeds on the disposal of the asset is more than the tax value. Good thing to remember is that a recoupment cannot exceed the past allowances granted. Now recoupments are available on all assets, which which includes buildings as well. Let's quickly go look at an example. Now this example is exactly the same as the previous example. You purchased the asset in the 2015 year of assessment. It was a new manufacturing machine and you purchased it for 400,000 Rand. It was sold in the 2016 year of assessment, so in other words, on 13 November 2015, it was sold for 600,000 Rand. So the first thing we do is we go and calculate a tax value. So the tax value is the cost of the asset, which is still 400,000 Rand. From that, we're going to go and deduct the allowances. So the first year is 2015, the second year is 2016, and it's a 40-20% allowance. Then we are left with the tax value. 
now we're going to go and compare it to the selling price now you guys will see the selling price changed it is 600,000 rand and now the selling price is more than the tax value and therefore we will have a potential recoupment here the potential recoupment is 440,000 rand but remember your recoupment is limited to the past allowances granted now what was the post allowances granted? In 2015 we had a 160,000 Rand allowance and in 2016 we had an 80,000 Rand allowance and therefore your total post allowances granted is only 240,000 Rand and therefore your recoupment limited to the past allowances granted of 240,000 Rand. Now guys this recoupment is then added into your taxable income because your recoupment is added. So on this asset in the 2016 year of assessment you will get an 80,000 Rand allowance and then you will have an add back of 240,000 Rand. I hope this podcast helps you with scrapping allowances and recoupments and that you now understand it a little bit better. Bye bye.